Southeast of Munich, in the 1,200-year-old Bavarian town of Eying, is the brewery Eyinger. Eyinger has been brewing Bavarian beer for more than 140 years. The brewery was founded in 1878, and the brewery sources its ingredients from the surrounding farms. Eyinger makes Kurta beer, which is the only type of beer that can be classified between Meritzen and dark export beer. Kurta beer is brewed for one of the most important festival days in Bavaria, Kirchfei, or Church Fest. The Kurta beer comes premium cloudy, which means unfiltered, with a cellar taste. Eyinger's Festmärzen is the filtered version of Kurta beer. Folks, welcome back. Another uh, Oktoberfest uh, Fest beer review. We're going to look at um, this, the Eyinger. They're Fest Marzen. Now, from what I understand, this is the filtered uh, beer. They have one called a Kirtha beer, the Maritzen. It's unfiltered, but the Fest Marzen is uh, filtered. And if you look on their brewery web's website, you won't find the uh, Fest Marzen listed in their beers. But if you look on their Kirtha beer, it'll uh, mention that this is the filtered uh, version of that. So they have an unfiltered Martin and the filter Martin. So it's 5.8%. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is the first beer of the morning. Typical malty, rich looking beer. I'd like to try the unfiltered one now, the Cursa one. I think that'd be uh, nice to try since they have, they still have, have the yeast in it, you know? There we go, folks. Dark yellow, almost amber color. Looks amber on the on the video. Nice big white head, dense foam. Kind of frothy and creamy on top. Looks a bit creamy. Uh, with Eyinger, I wasn't really impressed with their Hefeweizen. So I'm hoping this is better. So. Nice multi... Nice multi smell, a little bit of hoppy smell. Ah, it just smells like a great beer. Prost, everybody. That's actually pretty good. Real toffee notes, caramel notes, the malt, like a malty bread. If you ever have a malt, malt style bread, that's what I get. The sweetness. And the hoppiness in it, not not hop head hot hoppy, but the hop that's in there too. I just level everything out. It's pretty good. Five point eight percent. I don't taste the alcohol. It's full bodied. I think most of your Meritsons are, especially if you see in, in this dark color. Um, but you do get some medium, light body Meritsons. Meritsons. That's nice. Nice mouthfeel. Nice body to it. Smooth. Quaffable. <laughs> you could, I think like most, most of these beer, these festive beers this time of year, even though they're a bit heavy, you're still, you're still drinking them down. Just don't eat, don't eat as much. Don't eat too many uh, pork knuckles or sausages. I'll, I'll definitely buy this again. Uh, five out of five for the uh, Eyinger Festmartzen. It's pretty good beer. Very good beer. Like I said, I'd like to try the Kurta one. It's their unfiltered. Uh, check out their website. Just type in Eyinger Brewery. It'll pop up. Um, yeah, they're privately owned. So usually these, these privately owned breweries, it's hard to find information on them a bit. All right, folks. We'll see you on the next review. Thanks for uh, watching. Don't forget, subscribe, click like. Um, Maybe you don't like German beers. Maybe you like Belgian beers. Check out my playlists. I got Belgian playlists. I got German playlists. Irish beer playlists. Maybe you want some travel or some food. So check it out. I got a little variety of everything. All right, folks. See you next time. <laughs>